So Coulomb's law is k q1 q2 divided by r squared. k is Coulomb's constant, which is 8.988 times 10 to the 9th newtons meter squared per Coulomb squared. q1 and q2 are the charged objects that are interacting, which is measured in Coulombs. And r is the distance of separation between those two objects measured in meters. For this video, we're going to be looking at net forces with electrostatics in Coulomb's law in one dimension. So we've got a situation where we've got these three charged objects, A, B, and C. They've got the distances of separation mapped out, and we want to figure out what the net force is going to be on charge A. And here are the charges. So QA, which is the charge on object A, 5.64. This symbol means micro, which is times 10 to the negative 6. So 5.64 microcoulombs, the charge on B, is negative 6.45 microcoulombs and the charge on C is 12.32 microcoulombs. So A is a positive charge, B is a negative charge, C is a positive charge. So positively charged, negatively charged, positively charged. Now what that means is the force between B and A is going to be attractive. We know that opposites attract, so B will be pulling A towards the right and when we look at the interaction between C and A, because C and A are both positively charged, C will be pushing A towards the left. So Coulomb's law doesn't work with units of microcoulombs, so I'm just going to show this as my conversion. So micro means times 10 to the negative 6, so that's where this multiplier comes from. So it's just 5.64 times 10 to the negative 6, negative 6.45 microcoulombs, negative 6.45, and then the multiplier of times 10 to the negative 6. So we're going to start by looking at the interaction between A and B. So again, B is negatively charged, A is positively charged, so B will be pulling A towards the right. So interaction between A and B. So the equation is K, which is Coulomb's constant, 8.988 times 10 to the 9th. The units are newtons, meter squared per coulomb squared. Here is the charge on A, 5.64 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Here is the charge on B, 6.45 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. We're going to multiply out the top and square the bottom. And when we do that, we end up getting on the top and I'm keeping all of the digits across my calculator. So 0.32696564, the units are newtons, meter squared per coulomb squared. When I multiply coulombs times coulombs, I will get coulomb squared. On the bottom, when I square the distance of separation, I end up getting meter squared. My meter squares cancel out. My coulombs cancel out. And I end up getting a unit which is only newtons. So numerator divided by denominator, that gives us 42.608 newtons. So that gives us 42.608 newtons. I'm not going to be rounding anything. Go back to my diagram. And as we said, B is negative, A is positive, which means B is going to be pulling A towards the right. So there's our direction. So there is the interactive force between A and B. So now we're going to look at the interaction between A and C. So C is positively charged. A is positively charged, which means C is going to be pushing A towards the left. The distance of separation is 8.76 centimeters plus 12.43 centimeters. Coulomb's constant times the charge on A times the charge on C. The distance of separation, 0.2119 squared. Multiply the top, square the bottom. So we get 0.624529 newtons meter squared per Coulomb squared times Coulomb squared. On the bottom, when we square the distance, we get 0 0.044902, just like before. I can cross off my meters squares and my Coulomb squared, and now we're simply left with newtons as a unit. Divide the top by the bottom, and we end up getting 13.9088 newtons, and the direction for that one will be towards the left. Let's combine the two. So the sum of all forces is going to be the static force, the Coulomb force between A and B and A and C. So we solved for A and B 
it was 42.608 newtons towards the right, and for A and C, it was 13.9088 newtons towards the left. So that's the same thing as saying 42.608 newtons to the right minus 13.9088 newtons to the right, which gives us 28.6992 newtons towards the right. And since our question only had three sig digs, our final answer will be an electrostatic force or Coulomb force of 28.7 newtons towards the right.